Nice work on that, though. I want to make one point real quick. Um, that what you just said about the lawlessness, that's verse 8 or 9? Um, that was, um... You got 12. it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's 12, right, yeah. That was verse All 12. Right. Mm -hmm. You can read that real quick? And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold. All right. So, lawlessness will be increased because lawlessness will be increased. The love, love of many will grow, will grow cold. And King James says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So, what Jesus was saying to his disciples is that the regard for authority, for order, and law is going to come a time where there is no regard for it anymore. It's do whatever you want to do, what makes you happy and comfortable, and let's just live free, and everybody just do whatever you want to do. And we're in a state of consciousness where consciousness is no more. It's just, uh, let's just do whatever. Impulsively, instinctively, whatever we feel like doing. Just try to get through the day feeling good. Mm -hmm. All right, even if it's the wrong thing to do. And even with our government, we're in a time where we we have politicians who have a get along get along mind state. Let's just make peace. Let's try to make let's just try to smooth everything over and make everybody satisfied. And that's where we are right now. It's not mm -hmm. let's be authoritative and tell the people, "Hey, this is the law." It's like Okay, that group don't like our laws, so let's keep changing the laws until we can eventually try to make everybody comfortable. But here's one thing that I don't think people will even realize. Some people do and most don't. The only reason we have law and government and anything is because of God. My son is only 10. That little guy right there. He's mm -hmm. only 10 years old. I asked him yesterday, where do you think law came from? He said, the Bible, from God. Exactly. So you're talking about a God that people don't want to revere anymore, and then a lot of them don't even want to believe in him. Mm -hmm. Some people, just like it says up here, that uh, it talks about people losing faith and not believing anymore and having no regard for law. So now you got people who even used to believe in God who don't believe in God anymore because of the state of consciousness that we're in. So... If there's no authority for you to look up to, then you have nothing to hold you accountable for anything. So what's happening, when you lose God, you lose everything because people feel like there is no authority over us anymore. And if the government and the church is weak, then, hey, we ain't got nobody watching us or setting any guidelines. We do whatever we want to do. And if anybody decides they want to try to govern us again, we'll just have an uproar. We'll overtake the government, and that's been done before, but governments have done it too. Why? Because the government wasn't held accountable to themselves. So what, we, what we're moving toward is not peace. We're moving toward a society that is do whatever, and people are still going to be offended because there is no law. When you don't have law and it goes away, guess what happens? Chaos happens and the people wish that they did have one. And that's what's going to happen to us if we keep going the way that we're going. It's going to get chaotic, and we're going to wish that we had a law again to stop the chaos. And that's where Jesus comes back. That's why he said all this stuff. Be aware, the sign of, the, the sign of my coming is total chaos. When everything goes chaotic, you're going to know that it's pretty close to the time for me to come back, and you're going to be glad that I did. Mm -hmm. Even the ones who thought that you wanted it that way, you're going to be so glad that I'm going to come and fix this mess. Go ahead. You know, um, Ken, you might not pay attention to this either. The new Pope mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. in, in order now. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves him because they feel that he's going to bring about a change. Because mm -hmm. he's saying we need to go back to where we mm -hmm. were from. What we founded our our beliefs on we strayed too far we need to go back and he was like he everything that he does is contrary to what 
the popes did before. They said it's been hundreds of years. Hundreds of years since they've had a pope like this one. But what I think, the Catholic Church is the one, in my opinion, who started this mess from swaying. Oh, we're going to allow this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. And then people in the world start looking at us like, okay, they can't even obey what God is saying. Mm -hmm. So, something wrong with this picture. So, as you, if you think about it, this started from the Catholic Church giving in to what their people wanted, changing their values. And now they're like, we need to go back to what we were founded on because this is not going to work. And everybody so far is loving it because there are so many people that want our country, us as a people, to be where we should. I, don't, I think it outweighs those that want immoral. I want to live sinful. So you think the people who want things to be the way that they were supposed to be, the way God designed things, you think it's more of them yeah. than not? They just. But you think that their voice has been so, muffled? Yeah. That could be the case. Y'all believe that? Yeah. Is there, we meet people all the time who who are uncomfortable with the way that things have gone, but they're not going to say anything about yeah. it. Yeah. Say this. They so might bold. say something to you. Get about their discomfort. And I know a lot of older people who, you know, they've lived the greater part of their life. They feel like that. You know, they, they're at home and they look at the news or whatever. Or they, they just look around the, the environment they live in and say, man, look, at the world is a mess. But they saying it to you, it's not broadcasted. But that person does matter and what they feel matters. But nobody else is going to hear them. But then the thing, the thing is... And this is something that, you know, we all are aware of or should be is that negativity draws interest. Mm -hmm. Even with reality shows. Have you ever seen a reality show that didn't have some drama in it? Doesn't happen. Even if they have to stage the drama, they, they stage the drama so that you stay interested in watching it. Mm -hmm. You know, if you got a whole bunch of moral stuff with no... Uh, no, no adverse no opinion, or you don't have anybody on the opposing side of that moral stuff. It's not going to be entertaining. But there was a time where that was entertaining. You had wholesome shows like, let's say, the Brady Bunch. I used to like the Brady Bunch. That was a, a wholesome show. Everything was good on there. You didn't have no crime, no sin, no sex, no killing, or none of that. But it was a highly rated show, and people liked it. And even when in the syndication, it was successful. But that was because you had people that actually like good stuff. Those are the people you talking about. They would sit at home and watch the Brady Bunch, but then they would flip the channel to something else and say, that is a mess. But they ain't going to go tell a whole lot of people that that's a mess. We just not going to watch it. Exactly. Yeah. But Satan, it, it, to, uh, in my uh, mind, Satan is so bold. When, when he confronted God, 